Have you ever reached into your pocket and pulled your hand out and found money in your pocket? Yes. Oh. A dollar. Well, I kind of did that, but on a much larger scale. <gasps> what? No way! When we bought the property that we are now short-term renting in Costa Rica, we found a hidden part of our property that we didn't know belonged to us. And guess what we're gonna do with it? Build a tiny house, of course. And in today's video, I'm gonna go into detail about what it's gonna look like. My name is Shiloh Lundahl, and you are watching the Improved channel focused on real estate investing. few weeks ago, I took my entire family down to Costa Rica. Now, this was the first time I've ever taken my entire family to Costa Rica before. See, I've gone to Costa Rica several times because I love Costa Rica. I used to live in Costa Rica. It's a wonderful, wonderful country. And a couple of months ago, we bought a beautiful short-term rental property there. Now, the property that we bought has a main house that has five bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. It is beautiful and we've decked it out with beautiful furniture, beautiful paintings. It is just an amazing property. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna come and stay at our short-term rental, just check out the link in the description below. Anyway, we went and we staged the main house and we've been getting some bookings and it has been awesome. But this last time we went down there with my family, we also staged the guest house. That's right, we have a main house on the property and we have a guest house. And we also converted a shop into the groundskeeper's quarters. We have a couple that stays on the property, taking care of everything, and they are the salt of the earth. They are the greatest couple that you'll ever meet. And so we were happy with what we got, but guess what? We got a surprise. You see, John Maxim and I were taking a look around the property and we found this gate and we walked through the gate and it opened up into this other pasture overlooking this huge valley, absolutely beautiful. All right, so we are now here in Costa Rica and I have one of the co-owners, John Maxim. Founding co-owner. That's right. And we actually just discovered a brand new part of our property that we didn't know existed. So check this out. So you see up there, right? You see, uh, what's that? That's gonna be the, the guest house right there. You have right here is the house for the, um, the, the staff that are gonna live in there. And then our other house, our main house is way up there. But now, look at this part right here. It's fenced in, right? Look at this. You know what we're gonna build here? We're gonna build a tiny house or a yurt. Tiny we're, house or a yurt. we're not sure yet, but. You're gonna walk in right here. It's gonna be like 200 square feet. We'll have a massive deck with windows, wall of windows. It just looks out over this. It'll be amazing. Anyone would want to stay here. You would want to stay here. I would want to stay here. It's going to be awesome. So we got to thinking, you know what? What could we do with this little lot of land? And of course, we thought, let's put another rentable space on this land. So I was looking at different designs and, and you know, what might work really well. And we found a really, really cute tiny house design on Instagram. Check out how cute this tiny house is. So the tiny house that we're designing is going to be a little bit different. It's going to have one wall that's completely made out of windows that overlooks that beautiful valley. Imagine this, you go out on the deck and you have this porch that hangs over and that, you know, protects you from all the rain and you sit down with a drink in your hand and you watch the rain coming down as you're looking out over the valley. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful thought? So I talked with my contractor and I showed him the pictures and he and some of his workers got together and they drew up some plans and now we have some plans to put a tiny house right there on the property. 
All right, so here I am on the property with my contractor, Walter. Hello. And we're just uh, taking a look to see um, where we are going to um, put uh, the tiny house if we uh, if we build this. Uh, but I think I'm leaning towards it. They were uh, coming up with a, a figure of about 35,000. So we're going to see um, if we can build the tiny house for about 35,000. And that tiny house is going to overlook that entire view right there. So it's pretty awesome. Basically what we would do is we would have, you know, people would come through this little gate right up there, okay? They'd come down, they'd do a step up, and then they'd get on this deck, and it'd be a wraparound deck. They're outlining it right now. It's gonna be pretty sweet. But wait a second. I don't own the Costa Rica house on my own. You see, I'm one of nine investors on this deal, which means that I can't make these decisions on my own. So even though John and I thought this was an awesome idea, and a couple of the other investors thought that it'd be really cool, we're holding off for just a little bit until we can have what's called proof of concept, which means that we're able to rent out our houses on Airbnb and everything's going well and we're cash flowing. So as soon as that happens, and just between you and me, I hope that we're able to stabilize everything and cash flow really well within the next few months. So we can go ahead and get started on this beautiful tiny house addition to our Bella Vista retreat in Costa Rica. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to keep you updated on the progress of this tiny house in Costa Rica. Again, thanks for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please go ahead, show some love, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. I'm really working hard towards getting a thousand subscribers over the next few months. And I'd love it if you would help me out with that. Have a great day and good luck investing in real estate.